Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing crawfish. These animals have lots of common names, like crayfish, crawdad, and craydid, and all of these are acceptable. Like all the animals we discuss, they have different names in different regions and different languages. This is why scientific naming is so important. It helps us avoid confusion. Crawfish look like little lobsters, but they're not lobsters. They have claws like true lobsters, but generally speaking, lobsters live in marine waters and crawfish live in fresh water. Not always, though. Some crawfish species can handle changes in salinity, so they may be found in brackish water areas. There are also lobsters commonly called crayfish. These are found in Australia. These lobsters aren't the same crayfish we're discussing today, as they live in marine waters. And they're not true lobsters because they lack claws. They're otherwise known as spiny or rock lobsters. Also, crawfish aren't prawns, as prawns are also found in salt water. Crawfish live in creeks, streams, lakes, swamps, and more. They naturally occur throughout parts of Asia and Australia, Europe, and the Americas. Madagascar is also home to crawfish, but not mainland Africa, though some species have been introduced there. North America has the highest species diversity of crawfish, and altogether there are more than 650 living classified crawfish species. Crawfish hide under logs, vegetation, and rocks. Some species also burrow in mud. This may be either underwater or in turret spider-like structures on land. Crawfish can handle a little time on land as long as they stay moist. Even if their home dries up, they can travel over land to another home. We didn't mention size as a determining factor for crawfish versus lobsters, because some species can get big. The largest crawfish reach more than 15 inches in length and 8 pounds in weight. That's almost Chester-sized. On the flip side, the smallest crawfish are about the length of your thumbnail. On average, they reach about 3 inches long. Crawfish get around on their legs or by using their tail to thrust themselves backward in the water. This tactic is useful for escaping predators. Predators to crawfish include raccoons, foxes and other mammals, snakes, turtles, and other reptiles, as well as birds and fish. Crawfish themselves are also predatory. They use their claws to hold and tear apart meals, which include insects and their larvae, small fish, tadpoles, worms, and snails. Snails are an important part of their diet because the snail shells help make the crawfish's shell stronger. Crawfish also eat plants and carrion. Depending on the species, a crawfish may live just one year or up to 20 years. Those that live in colder areas live longer. They begin life as an egg. Female crawfish carry their eggs on their underside. They're known as in berry during this time because the eggs look like berries along their belly. They develop for a few weeks and hatch into juveniles that remain with the mother for several more weeks. It may be a few months to many years before they're ready to have babies of their own. This is another way crawfish are separate from lobsters. Lobsters have a free-living larval stage, while crawfish young emerge like small versions of the adults. There are also some crawfish that reproduce without males. So far, no males have ever been discovered of this type, and the females produce female offspring without fertilization. This is known as parthenogenesis. For more facts on crawfish, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, Spike Spiegel 93 Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. Thank you to these viewers for today's request, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.